We also need to worry about uh, clearing out this jungle eventually. Uh, the Russians have quite a few more cities than they did before. They uh, seem to have built up this area a little bit. But uh, again, uh, we check the victory status screen. We have a score of 434 versus Russia's 252. Uh, our score is quite a bit higher. As you can see, it jumped up uh, quite a bit with the uh, destruction of Egypt. Or our relative score, anyway. Uh, as did our power level. Egypt has uh, petered out to nothing. Uh, Russia is our biggest opponent right now, and uh, even in culture we're very far ahead. Uh, we can check diplomacy to see how well the other civilizations are doing. Uh, seems the mines have a few more cities now. They have one, two, three, four, five. They have about eight cities, but uh, we're quite a few technologies ahead of them, and I'd assume we're quite a few technologies ahead of the Russians as well. We certainly have a lot more cities now. Uh, being twice the size of either the Rush, uh, being about the size of the Russians and the mines put together. Of course, uh, the way cities, civilizations work, um, their production capabilities are not too bad because uh, between them they have less corruption while with having two capitals to uh, uh, produce units from. I'm just going through all of our cities to make sure we don't have uh, any problems in terms of. Uh, unhappiness or anything like that. And that's definitely something to keep in mind because uh, a turn spent in uh, a turn spent in civil disorder is essentially a turn wasted in that city, so uh, you don't want to be spending any time in civil disorder. Uh, our production is fairly low in our core cities though, so we need to develop that land a bit more uh, if we want to uh, get a bit more productive. Uh, our road system is into Russia is pretty much done at this point though, so uh, we should be ready to start attacking soon, but I expect that Russia will be able to put up much much more of a fight than Egypt did. Though they were behind Egypt by the time we attacked, uh, Russia should be a bit more advanced, and they'll probably have pikemen rather than just spearmen to defend their city, so uh, we're in for a bit more of a challenge when it comes to uh, attacking Russia. Quite a bit more of a challenge, I would say, though the Mayans shouldn't be too much trouble by the time we get to them. Um, really wish Antioch would... Uh, had a higher production rate, but right now it doesn't look like it's going to get much better than it is currently until its population expands a bit more. Um, this city is pretty much done, Bactria is pretty much done producing things, so we can start building pikemen. Uh, our road network into the Egyptian lands are pretty much completed, and uh, we don't care too much about clearing out the uh, Egyptian uh, territory, mostly because uh, those cities are never really going to be productive anyway, so it's uh, really not too big of a loss if they're uh, not the greatest cities in the world. Um, actually, we're going to try to build a uh, Forbidden Palace in Heliopolis, though I don't know if that's ever going to get done, really. Again, not too big of a deal. Uh, we're going to continue building up our road system, I guess. Uh, hopefully the Russians will maybe uh, do the same inside their own territory, since uh, don't really want to have to uh, build up all their roads for them. As you can see, they really like building irrigation, though uh, building mines would really be a better idea, I think, in most cases. They don't... they seem to have something against ir irrigation. Especially if they're in, under despotism, the irrigation on the grassland accomplishes absolutely nothing for them, uh, because of the limitations of despotism, so... Uh, really, they should be building mines, but for whatever reason, they're not. In a lot of your outer cities, though, you can uh, really just irrigate everything since uh, the protection rate will be so low they won't really be able to pump out any shields at all. So you uh, may as well just build irrigation everywhere to uh, get their uh, population growth up since the only thing you can really use that city for is uh, population. But uh, again, that won't be an issue really. We're not going to bother to uh, go through and alter all of the uh, Egyptian territory since uh, the game isn't going to last long enough for it to matter anyway. Uh, once all our immortals are in place, we should be able to uh, conquer the uh, conquer the Russians without too much trouble. For some reason, this uh, galley doesn't seem to want to uh, travel very far. I don't know why. Um, that's rather strange. I'll send it over there and see what I can find. But uh, we have quite a few mortals stacked up in Abydos right now. And uh, it should be enough to uh, launch an initial offensive. But it's not quite enough to uh, really 
push into Russia properly. So I'm probably going to want to stack up a few more before we attack. We could probably move all the ones we have in here out to Russia, since Russia's never really going to get troops out to there anyway, and uh, we'll eventually uh, fill it up with pikemen. Uh, at this difficulty level, the computer doesn't really uh, attack all that fervently, especially at this point of the game. Later on, they're a bit better at it, but uh, right now they're not uh, much of a formid uh, very formidable. The mines completed the Great Wall, which puts a wall in every city on the continent. So that's going to boost their defense ratings up a bit in all their cities. So that's going to cause a bit of a problem for when we uh, decide to attack them, but uh, not too much of a problem, really. Uh, I think we need to build up Antioch a bit more. It's, uh, if it's going to finish Sun Tzu's Art of War anytime soon, it's going to need a lot more production than what it currently has. And uh, once we finish all these marketplaces and things, we should be able to... Uh, start focusing on military a bit more again. Uh, we'll start sending the pikemen out. We'll send them out to the uh, furthest most cities first and uh, get those fortified. Uh, I think our road system here is pretty much done, so we'll retreat our workers to the safety of our borders and uh, get them working. Uh, marketplace is done here in our capital, so we can start building pikemen there. We're not going to build immortals anymore. We're going to switch over to knights at this point, so uh, that's going to give us a big movement bonus in terms of moving our military around. We're also going to start building pikemen in all the cities that can manage it. Um, let's see here. Persepolis. Uh, have Persepolis uh, work that hill instead. It needs more production than it does uh, food right now. Um, need to build a road to Abydos here. And a road down to... Oh, there's already one there. Okay, in that case, we'll uh, go ahead and build a road up there. Mines are probably rather weak. This is, again, because of their their uh, heavy jungle start. It seems that the Russians are going to build a city up here. That's no big deal. We'll uh, conquer that in due time. Though it does give them a source of iron, I guess. It's rather irritating they decided to build a city up there, though. I didn't think they would. Um, territory isn't exactly the greatest in the world. Uh, but yeah, it looks like they're going to try to stick a city right on the corner there. Um, the, the computer player, player likes to do that. They like to stick cities wherever they can, even though they really have absolutely no use at all. And I do mean at all. I mean, they don't accomplish anything for them in the slightest. For some reason, Pasigarde isn't growing. Doesn't seem to have enough food. So we're going to swap our production from these forests onto uh, some of these uh, mining... Uh, squares. Uh, continue to link up our roads and fortify our morals in Abydos, where we're going to be, which is going to be our main staging area for the attack, I would say. Um, I don't know why Bactor is producing a Temple of Artemis. Uh, I want them to produce uh, pikemen to uh, fortify our cities in uh, newly captured Egypt. And uh, once we've built enough pikemen, we can start building knights instead. And uh, I really wish it would stop... Uh, Switching over to uh, Wonders, and I think there's an option for that. Uh, preferences, ask for build orders after unit construction, that's the one. So it'll stop uh, switching over to Pikeman every time it uh, finishes, uh, switching over from Pikeman to uh, Wonder every time it finishes one, since uh, I don't really want it to do that. Uh, we're going to continue wor working on our road network. Uh, these guys are going to... We'll clear out that forest over there. Continue fortifying our morals. We have quite a few now, almost enough to attack, I would say. Uh, continue building pikemen, Persepolis. And these guys are going to clear that forest. This guy is going to uh, start mining up this area. So are these guys. This guy's going to build a road. Galley is going to head out to here. And he'll start exploring once we uh, declare war on the Russians. Uh, harbor. Gordian built a harbor, so they're going to want to build an aqueduct next, since they're about to uh, increase in population. Tidon built an aqueduct. So they're going to build a... Pikeman. Uh, these guys are going to start working on clearing out that jungle. 
uh, these guys are gonna start building mines in Antioch to uh, get its production up a bit. Uh, this guy's gonna help with the clearing up the uh, jungle there. Uh, soon enough we're gonna set the workers to automate since uh, we don't really care about... eventually we're not really gonna care about the... Uh, or I'm not gonna waste any more time uh, dealing with them since it's not really that important anymore. And I think we have enough pikemen now that we can switch over to knights. As you can see, knights take quite a bit longer to build. And uh, Sardis actually needs an aqueduct, so we'll build that first. The Russians completed the Colossus, so we'll be able to conquer that from them uh, soon enough. I'll move that pikeman to Pyramses. Uh, these guys are going to clear out that jungle. Build a road there. Uh, the pikeman is going to head out to uh, Alexandria. This pikeman's going to head out to uh, the Acropolis. This guy's going to help mine up that square. And I'm actually out of time, so I'll end the video.